join me on Instagram. Beautiful pictures for you guys and give you lots of good information so that you can prepare yourself well for PA school. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So I wanted to talk about what happened this week in PA school. Of course, there's tests and quizzes. That's a given. You're going to be doing that in PA school. But what was really cool was I was able to be a standardized patient. We have the third years who have gone through their rotations and are now preparing for their boards. Um, they were doing like an exit kind of interview type test thing where they had a standardized patient me <laughs> and um, a few of a few other of my classmates were also standardized patients but we had a diagnosis we had some symptoms um you know past medical history and stuff and we had to go in and play this role and they had to come in ask us questions like they were our provider take a history get diagnostic tests and make a plan for that patient and it was really really cool you guys they're where i want to be where i'm going to be in two years preparing to actually go out into the field or go into my doctoral program which many of them are doing they're doing fellowships so it was really 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 cool to see them how they went through the process you saw different styles how people did approach the problem different ways but they all got down to the same diagnosis and that is what was cool to see yes everyone has different ways of doing things but you know as long as you get down to the diagnosis you know that hey this person that is currently having a STEM which is an MI or heart attack and needs to go to the cath lab immediately because you don't want the heart to have any damage further damage done that has already been done as long as you get that you're golden and so it was really fun it it taught me a lot I was maybe this patient for an hour and a half and then we switched um, a new student came in and was the standardized patient but it was so much fun in that short period of time I learned so much especially for me going forward because we have have a simulation lab as well where we go in and we have sim man who is our mannequin who is worth a lot of money and he breathes and he dies and he has a heart rate and all of these different things he has pulses but we're able to go in and actually perform different tests and diagnosis and talk to him like he's one of our patients and so going in with the knowledge that i just gained even from today next week was it's going to be so beneficial we forgot to do like take some social history which should be like automatic we, you definitely need to know if this person smokes or drinks that's a given and so as a new PA student coming in, yes, you learn that, but sometimes you forget to do it. But seeing the third years do it, it just kind of made it even better, it made it even more of um, ingrained in my mind. So tip for today, make sure you definitely go ahead and shadow some PAs because it was similar to um, shadowing. You get to see the PA, you get to see them in their setting, what they do, how they approach a problem, how they talk to the patients, looking at bedside manner. All of that is important because you're going to be a PA in the future or you want to be a PA in the future. So you need to know how to hone in on these skills. I had a blast. If you do have the opportunity to ever be a standardized patient, I suggest you highly do it because you're going to have a great time. You're going to learn a lot and it's going to be an invaluable experience. All right, so that was it. That's what happened for me. And um, what is this? What are we in? Week 10 of PA school, you guys? Oh my goodness, it's crazy. I can't believe it. Semester's almost over. I am preparing for finals. So I might be a little incognito in uh, these upcoming weeks, but I will try to get something out for you guys, um, not to the detriment of my grade. So bear with me, okay? Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe and join me on this journey. I really appreciate every last one of you guys. If I have, haven't have addressed something that you'd like, leave it in the comment section below. I will be sure to get to it um, and make a video for you guys and respond to you as time permits. But thank you again for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye!